Hello friends, welcome to my channel here at Techies. In this video, we can create our first Angular 20 application, then we can review the files and folder structure. So before creating the application, we have to review the environmental setup configuration. So the first thing is Node.js. So Angular 20 can support Node.js version above 20.19. Okay, so let me check my Node.js version node hyphen b so i am having node.js version 22.4 okay so i believe it will support and better always keep the latest version so let me upgrade my node.js go to the node.js site so here the very first thing is we need to choose the version current version is 24.2 okay let me download this installer so once it is downloaded, install this one, click next and accept it, then install it. So it will take some time, then click quick. We can verify once again. See the version is 24, okay. The next thing is TypeScript. TypeScript the TypeScript no need to make any changes okay it will be upgraded automatically when we are installing this angular CLI and next in this angular CLI I believe currently I'm having angular 19 okay it's angular 19 okay okay here we are getting on warning also so anyway let me upgrade our angular CLI into angular 20 so first make sure we need to uninstall the existing angular CLI. So directly also we, are, we can upgrade. Uh, sometimes we will get some cache related issue. For avoiding that better we can uninstall and reinstall the new version. So next we can install our angular CLI once again. Since I am not providing any version so automatically it will install the latest version okay the latest version is angular 20 okay the installation gets completed uh, we can verify the version once again so now we have an angular cla version 20 and the warning also got removed okay so initially we got the warning the reason is uh, we upgraded our node.js into 24.2 that is not supported for angular 19 that is the reason okay so now we can create our first application so the same command uh, engine new and our application new it is asking do you want to create a zoneless application without zone.js so we can give yes again it is in the developer preview only and then style sheet as usual we can choose the css option okay and do you want to enable the server side rendering yes sir that also we can give yes so here also we are getting some kind of warning and also application installation in progress so in this case uh, what i'm recommending if you have a running application better you can choose the node.js version 22.12 okay so if you are taking the latest version it is not the stable one for the study purpose i always go with the latest okay the application is created uh, we can open in uh, vs code the okay, app is opened uh, let me run this application Okay, application is running. Okay, we can see the default template. Okay, so if you look at the files find of view, I don't think we have much changes, but anyway, we can see this one. So we have this index.html and main server.ts, it's part of the server side rendering. Okay, server again, this also same part of the server side rendering and inside the app folder 
and we can see there is no zone.js okay and in this angular.json side we have the same changes only and inside the app here also we have this uh, server configuration for server side rendering and in this app config you can see this provider provides zoneless change detection and other files uh, this is part of the app component okay so previously we can see the namings like app.component.css uh, now the namings are changed now it is just app okay for the html also same and ts files also there see so the file naming is changed and then uh, this is the routing file okay and this is uh, another routing file for the server side rendering so the file side uh, we don't have much changes the only change i have observed that is the file naming okay and the features point of view uh, we can have some items that we can discuss in the separate video okay so still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching